Look right here, y'all. Look at this back rod. Oh boy, that one's a pulling. That one's a pulling, man. He's pulled it down in the water. Oh man. Y'all, we are starting this video off with a hard pulling fish right here. Boy, this will wake you up first thing in the morning. Heck yeah, man. Y'all, I'm out here at first light. The sun's actually peeking up over there over the clouds. And I'm on the water this morning fishing a deep hole. I fished this spot yesterday for my regular audience. I actually filmed two videos here. Filmed a regular video. And then after that I went live and filmed and sat out here for another two hours and still caught fish. Caught some really good fish yesterday. Got a bunch of fish and some really nice fish, both blues and flatheads. I said, you know what? I'm coming right back here and I'm going to hit this spot again. So uh, for those of you that may have missed the live stream or, or the last video, I'm in a hole on the Tennessee River, 65 feet deep here. And just this hole out here in the main channel got my bait suspended right off the bottom. And I'm using a combination of white bass and skipjack today. Now I'm running low on white bass. We're not going to have this one here ate a piece of white bass, a chunk of the body section. So we're not going to get many fish on white bass today because I ain't got many with me. But I got plenty of skipjack. So hopefully we're going to catch a bunch today and then some big bubbles coming up right there. This fish has got my other front line up here, but that's okay. He's just kind of going where he wants to go. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a blue or, yeah, it's a big blue. That's a big blue to start the morning. Oh boy, that's how you like to start a trip right there. Oh boy, I'm glad I come back down here. We are starting off with a bang. Look at that thing, man, that's a nice blue. That's just how it was yesterday. Big blues, big flatheads, and we're doing it again today, right as the sun comes up. <laughs> oh, my other back rod over here got hit, y'all. Something's on my other back rod, too. I'm going to deal with the one in the hand right here now first. Ooh, that's a nice one, buddy. That's a nice one. I'm going to set that there back in the rod holder just a second. Let him tire himself out. And we're going to pick up on this one now. This one here is on this other back rod. So my bait set up today, my back rods have midsections. My front rods have head pieces. I've got skipjack on the left side of the kayak and white bass on the right. So we got one fish each now on the midsections different both baits man this is exciting y'all i mean i ain't had baits in the water maybe 10 minutes i'll come right down here to this hole spot locked and just drop my baits down right into it raise them up so you know 65 feet my baits are down there 62 63 feet deep my plan is to just sit here for a few hours this morning. I'm probably going to fish today till around 11-ish. Let's see how many fish I can catch and pull out of here during that time. Hopefully we're going to get some good ones. We got a nice blue on that other rod over there. This one here, I don't know what it is. I ain't got to look at it yet. Don't think it's going to be as big as the other one, but the other one is setting the bar pretty high. So. That's a that's a fun size blue. Smaller fun sizer right there. Man oh man, we are starting off well, y'all. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave this one setting. I'm gonna put him back in the rod holder and we're gonna land the bigger blue over here because he has gotten my other front line and I want to basically get both of these baits reset over here when we get rid of him, so this fish here I'm gonna put him on the measuring board for you I'm in a couple tournaments this month so got my measuring board with me oh man that's a big one buddy that is a big one. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy whoa 
Come on in, blue kitty. That's a nice blue. That's a nice blue. Look at that hook just come right out in a dang tooth patch. Ooh. I'm gonna get these lines. He's all wrapped up in that front line. That's okay. Oh, y'all, look at that, man. That's a nice blue. Fish number one's a brute, buddy. That's a brute to start out the morning. Oh, man. I'm awake now, y'all. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna throw him on the board here. We'll get a quick link, send him home, land the next one. Oh yeah, y'all, that one there, over 40 inches. 40 inch blue to start the morning here. How awesome is that? All right, guys, one last look. 40 inch blue cat. That's a heck of a start. Let's let him go. I'm gonna lower these other baits back down and then we'll land this other one over here. See ya, blue kitty. There you go. Ooh, that's awesome. Man, I'm pumped up. We got another big splash over there too. I don't know if that's a paddlefish or what. Water's active this morning, y'all. <laughs> this fish here, he got me tangled up a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. He come into that line late. Oh, uh oh, look up here. Look up here. There goes the front rod. That's on a skipjack head. I was getting rebaited here putting a piece of a white bass on to drop on this other back rod before I landed the other one and that one's going down over there let me just lower this bait down I want to get it down there I want to maximize our chances of catching some fish this morning yeah, I'm a big fan of the morning bite just being on the water here at first light I just there seems to oftentimes be a just a flurry of activity during that time period and so I want to have as many baits in the wa water as possible this morning as early as i can here we're going to just pull up on this and i've got the other one in the back rod just sitting there he can just keep doing his thing tire himself out while we reel this one in man that's awesome i am so pumped up y'all you know, every day's an adventure. You never know what you're going to get, but I had high hopes coming out here this morning after the trip yesterday, just getting so many big fish and having, you know, multi-species, both blue and flathead. It just gets me, gets me excited to come out here. I didn't even hardly have to. I could have probably got by without an alarm this morning and still woke up on time and ready to go. I hopped out of bed and was ready to roll this morning. Yeah, that's another, we'll call him larger dink, smaller fun size. It's one I'll throw on the board there for you anyway and just see if he'll help me in my slot tournament. This one back here, he's still fired up. Let's let this one play out first. Find my glove again and lay in the back rod. Guys, this right here. This is another fun sizer right here. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit smaller than that first one, but still just a quality fish. Let me hold that thing up. Look at that. <laughs> That's a chunk any time. I'm gonna go straight to the board with him. I'm not gonna waste much time. I just wanna get him another bait down. 34 and a half inch blue. That's a solid fish any time. Blue kitty. High and by, just like that, we gotta let him go. I'm gonna send him down before we land the other one. I'm gonna stick another bait on there and get it back down there. Next chunk of skipjack going down. Launch it down there and we're gonna land the other one. I think we'll have all four baits set again after that. Assuming we don't get another one in the meantime and we liable to. There's some fish here. Probably be some more here just throughout the morning, just working up this ledge and down into this hole. No, oh, he ain't done. I'm going to play this out another smidge or two here before I land him because he's wired this morning. This one's wound tighter than a Georgia pine right here, folks. <laughs> Boy, this time this type of fishing is just fun, y'all. If you ain't never tried it, 
I'd encourage you to give it a shot. I mean, spin fishing in a kayak is just, it's the most fun way to catch fish. Nothing beats it. All right, got our headpiece back on that one. We'll reuse it. Well, there's number, fish number three of that little flurry of activity there as the sun peeks out behind the cloud there. There it is, he going to the board and he's going back in the water. Oh yeah, guys, this one here, he'll go over 31 inches there. That one will help me from a slot tournament. All right, y'all, one last look, over 31 inches there. Again, for our slot tournament, they gotta be as close to 32 inches without going over or without touching the line or going over. So that one there is really gonna help my score. Man, I'm off to a good start this morning, y'all. I hope it continues like this all morning and based on yesterday, I'm inclined to believe that it very well could. Y'all watch this front rod up here. I got a little bump and you see I got some weight on it there on the rod tip. I think we might have us a flathead on there. The way it hit, it almost felt like a flathead was inhaling that bait. I know we got a flathead on here. I'm about to crank down on him. Yeah, I got him on there. Y'all, I've had about a, probably a 30 minute break between fish, just nothing happening here. I mean, just no dink taps or nothing. But again, I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm not moving today unless I just go a really long time without a bite. I'm gonna wait on this hole to just reload with fish throughout the morning. We'll see when we get this one up here, but the way it hit, I mean, it just acted like a flathead. I've been wrong before. It's occasional, but it happens. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think it's going to be very big, but boy, it sure acted like a flathead. We ought to be getting close now. Yeah, it is a flathead. I knew it. I mean, you just felt thump. It's like you could see your, your rod tip just go bump. And that's that flathead just inhaling that bait. And then you just got a little bit of a little bit of weight on the rod tip. It's just slowly setting there. Love it when that happens. They have such a unique, just a unique bite. Nice, man. I'll take a flathead any size. Let's land up. Oh, oh boy, he's still... A little bit angry this morning, ain't he? Let's get you on in here, flathead. We'll take a look at this skipjack head. If it's still in good shape, we're gonna send it back down. Let's take a look at it here. The dinks have not been pestering me. They've not been chewing on my bait. See that right there? Look at that. That's still that's still good shape. We're gonna catch another fish. Oh, oh. This flathead's not happy. Let's just sit Kim up here on the board, go straight to the board with him. And this one here, folks, is going to be not a very fat fish, but it's long. It's over almost 33 inches, just shy. So nice, nice flathead there. Probably recently off the nest here. It's in first week of August here now, so these fish have been finished up with the spawn but you know still recently off the nest so a lot of them haven't got their weight back on yet this one here is wound up man let's let him go get on out of here flatty we'll see you come back again we'll do it again when you're bigger <laughs> i love flatheads y'all they're just a cool fish that bait still hooked good and everything i'm just going to drop it right back down and put in some more time. It's a little after 8 a.m. right now. So again, I'm probably going to fish till about 11 today. So about three more hours. I'm going to sit here and see if some more fish move through. I'm going to, when I get this bait down here, it takes a minute. Get down there at this depth. I'm 65 feet. That's on a Carolina rig. Let my sinker hit bottom. Raise my rod tip up. Now my bait's sitting down there you know, 62, 63 feet. But let me show you here on the graph. So this is this hole I'm in. So I'm on a main channel edge here, which just comes down and then drops down here to a deeper hole. 
again you know 65 feet ish there here's some smaller marks water temps surface temps 80 degrees this morning but these deep holes on these main channel ledges and this post spawn bite lately has just been on it seems like no matter where i go on which reservoir of the tennessee river i'm fishing on a particular day these deep holes on these main channel ledges they just keep producing so i'm gonna keep hitting them until they don't oh this back rod y'all this back rod yeah we're hooked up again well we got some more fish coming through that flathead now this one you know that's set here a while before that flathead hit but now it's Two fish, just boom, boom. So <laughs> that's how it goes, you know. When when you you on these ledges, fish are coming in and out. These holes are working in and out, and you know you can set a while and not have anything going on, and either fish move through, or and sometimes you know fish be down in this hole, just kind of hunker down, and then they turn on, and there's your baits waiting on them, and they're ready to eat, and got an easy meal. That there's a, it's a larger dink, smaller fun size, you know, it could go either way. I'll throw him on the board there. I'd say it's probably 30 inches or so, probably. I'll measure him for my slot tournament and just see. All right, y'all, there that one is. This old thing got my front line up there somehow. So I was reeling him in. I'll have to sort that mess out. But let's just go straight to the board with him. He's not front camera worthy. But that's a, I mean, that's a fun size, I'd call right there. He's over 32 inches. That's a nice fish. He's a fun fight anytime. Let's get him on out of here. We'll see you, fish. Then calls me a line tangle here and stole my bait, too. Doggone him. Look at this rod. Look at this one, buddy. Oh, man, that one's buried. That one's buried right there. Oh, man. Let me try to get that thing out of the rod holder, man. That thing's buried. I got one on the back rod back here too, y'all. I had two go down at the same time, but this one was one that just got hammered. Man, I have sat here a long time, y'all, about an hour. This has been a long wait for this fish, but it's worth it. This is going to be another good one here. Plus, I got one on this back rod over here too behind me. This one ate a skipjack head. The other one's on the white bass midsection. I know it's been just a few seconds here for video purposes, you know, all that's watching the edited video here, but it's, I'm telling you, it's been a long wait for this fish. It's been a slow morning out here. We started off with a bang, got three fish just shortly after getting baits in, and then, oh man, this fish right here, that's a nice fish, but boy, based on the takedown, I thought I had me a goliath this here it, it's a solid fish but oh, this fish ain't as big as the takedown i'm still happy with it though don't get me wrong that's a nice fish that one that one gobbled up the skipjack head let me just let me just set him back here what i want to do is put him back in the holder and then I'm gonna pick up on this one here. See if he's still on. Yep. And I'll tell you y'all, I'm, I'm still in this hole. But I did a little while ago reposition myself in it. I mean, it's a fairly, it's a fairly large hole. I mean, it's it's, you know, it's hard for me to judge it. You know, I'm terrible at distances. But I've, I've repositioned. I've moved over just a little bit and got further down in it still about 65 feet but uh just moved a little bit see if that would help my calls and well it certainly didn't hurt it <laughs> so we got two fish here look at that thing right there that's another what i'd call larger dink yeah y'all i just wanted to reposition myself over a different part of this hole you know this morning here in the morning hours out here tva is not generating and so we don't have current flow dispersing my scent and if these fish are hunkered down in this hole depending on where they're at because of the size of it 
may not know my baits are there so i thought i wasn't getting the results i wanted where i was spot locked so i'd just move a little bit still fish the same hole but try to put my baits around maybe some different fish worked out with this one oh lord boy he's mad at me he's mad at me everybody and this fish is upset he's coming in whether he's mad at me or not because we're gonna hold this one up here for a picture ain't we oh ho, ho, ho. Yep, jack heads what do you eat i switched out my baits a little while ago too <laughs> nice blue cat man nice blue cat this hole has just produced some really good fish the last couple days and this here's another example of one nice all right let's go straight to the board with him and guys that one there nice fish just shy of 37 inches so solid solid fish got some girth to him there got some weight on him i'm gonna hold this old pooping thing up there he goes with some more <laughs> we gotta get him out of here you don't know fish nasty thing look at the floor of my kayak man he just pooped all over everything sprayed it on me my cutting board measuring board lordy days This front rod up here got hit too. I was about to land this second fish. Look at it go down now. That's a slow takedown. Let's just leave that other one sitting and pick up on this one, why don't we? <laughs> I was gonna land that second fish back there and get to try to get this poop washed out of my kayak floor before it sets up like concrete. And this one just took off. I wonder if this here ain't a flathead maybe the way he hit it it wasn't a hard takedown you know it was a thump and just a you know kind of a slow pull and boy he's pulling now though yeah i think this here might be another flathead it's sure fighting like one it's fighting hard yeah y'all who knows reposition myself in this hole again i'm same spot but just made an adjustment and that's made a big difference here on getting the bites you know if i had current flow it wouldn't be a big deal because the current i could put myself at the top of this hole let the current just disperse my scent now here this morning i don't so if fish are kind of stationary it's kind of hunkered down where i was initially positioned at the, the fish where i'm at now probably didn't know my baits were there so we'll sit here a while and hopefully not have to move again if i do i'll just maybe just slide back a little further in this hole but i ain't leaving this hole today i'm gonna fish another probably an hour and a half or so Let's see what else we can get out of here I got a broad behind me going off now too. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I told you it's a flathead. That's a big one too. That's a big one too, man. Who? I knew it hit like a flathead. I, I just, I love the way they fight. The blues hit the bait, just slam it and take off. These flatheads, they're the king of the river. They're like, I'm just gonna eat my bait and sit there and enjoy it. <laughs> Boy, he's fighting though. He's fired up. I've got a fish on the back rod. I ain't gonna fool with him just yet. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. And I don't have any baits currently down there for fish, y'all. Now that one on my back rod's hooked up, because I hadn't dropped the other one down yet. I tell you what, we got the flathead up here kind of subdued. What I'm gonna do is set him in the rod holder. And I'm going to take this bait over here and drop it back down. And then we'll work on this one behind me here. See what kind of fish it is. And then we'll start landing some fish. This is awesome, y'all. 
this hole, man, I'm telling you, the last two days is just, it's got some fish. But, you know, every hole I've fished around here lately, whether it's here or even down there two hours away on Nickajack down in Chattanooga, it's just been getting fish. They're just, it's that time of year. These main channel ledges and these holes post spawn. It's just a good place to find them. And they're hungry, they're feeding up, they're putting their weight back on. If you got a bait down there and put it in their face, they're going to eat it. I think this one here is going to be small. Well, they ain't really showed a preference for bait, have they? Every one of these rods got hit. This one here is skin hooked right there in a whisker. I'm going to get rid of him quick and get another bait down and we'll start landing the others on the other side of the kayak. All right, little blue cat. You're the smallest of the bunch. Get out of here. Let's clean off our measuring board. Look at that. That fish said doo-doo on me. Lord. This one here is one that I'm going to go ahead and just throw on the board from a slot tournament. See how he's measuring up. I don't know if he's going to help me or not, but we're going to at least put him on there and try to find out. No, out in there, he's going to be shy of 30 inches. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of him there. Let's see, he didn't. He's thrown off the bait. I don't know if I got any more white bass or not. I'll have to look here in a second. But let's go ahead and land this flathead now. This one here is the main event of that, that little ensemble. Let's get him back up here. He's looking at us. He don't know what's about to happen to him. He's about to be landed and come in here into a doo-doo covered kayaks, what he's about to do. Oh, quit. Come on in, Flatty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Look at that mouth on that thing, buddy. Look at that thing. The gullet on him. Let's hold him up here, y'all. That's a nice flathead, ain't it? <laughs> Look at that, my camera's crooked. Let's fix that. Now, let's try it again. Nice flatty. Look at that, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Throw him right on the board and get some more baits down there. Guys, that flathead there, he don't want to lay his tail flat, but he's comparable size to the blue. He'll be about, no, he don't want to lay that tail. He's about 36 inches there. Nice flathead, buddy. Nice. All right, y'all, this flathead, he says he wants to go home. He wants me to drop some baits down there so his friends can have the pleasure of being on this YouTube video with him. So let's do it. There he is, one last look. Take off, Flatty. I'll grab you again. Ooh. That was a pretty good change of events there, wasn't it? I mean, just a, a slight change, and it wasn't even that I moved that far in this hole. I mean, it's that's all it took, though. That's all it took, one minor adjustment, and boom, just rods going down again. <laughs> right there's our white bass head it's going back down i'd ideally like to replace it but that's the last one i got so we're going to reuse it and i'm going to dig around in my cooler and see if i got another midsection piece of white bass if not we'll we'll put us a piece of skipjack on oh man look right here look right here it's time to catch another one. Oh boy he's a pulling too man He's a pulling too. Look at that. Oh crap, that's a good fish. Oh man. That's a good fish. I got one on my other back rod back here behind me too. Oh crap. Look at this one go. Look at that one go too. Oh man, I don't know which one to take one. All I can do is focus on the one in the hand. I got two big fish on y'all. I got two big fish on. Oh man. 
both these rods went down at practically the same time. This one ate my last piece of white bass. The other one ate a piece of skipjack, and man, he's, look at that, he's still digging over there, buddy. I can't focus on him right now, though. I can't focus on him. I got to do the one in the hand. I just got to leave it in the rod holder. Y'all, this is where I talk about having secure rod holders on your kayak. When this happens, when you're doubled up with two huge fish, them things better be bolted in. You better be able to just trust them that they're going to stay secure on your kayak. I trust mine. Oh man, that's a strong fish. Goodness gracious. I'm seeing some big bubbles coming up over there beside me too. Oh, crap, he just got in that front line. I can't do nothing about it. I was hoping to keep him out of it. I just hope these two big fish don't end up together. Man, oh man. I'm gonna get this one up here to the surface and take a look at him and then we're gonna crank down on this other one over here behind me. I have no idea which one's the bigger of the two. That other rod over there is just still, the rod tip's still in the water. This is a blue right here. This is a big one too. Man, that was a nice takedown. That's a solid fish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Man. What an awesome fight that was. Nice blue cat. I don't like how that line... That front line has worked its way around that hook. I'm, I'm worried that may work him free, but I'm going to give him just a little slack there and put him back in the holder so I can get the other one over here. I can't, I ain't going to bother with landing him right now because this one's right over here. We got to see what's going on here. This is solid too, man. This is solid too right here. <laughs> oh man, I love doing this, y'all. I'm so fortunate, I, I keep saying I'm so fortunate to be able to call this a job and those of you all who watch the videos and, and, and enjoy the content, you all are making this possible for me. I couldn't do it without you all watching and setting through all them dang advertisements that everybody hates and you know and also too those of you that, that support Daniel here at Catfish Sumo. You know, him and I have partnered together here this year, working together, and you all buying his gear, his rods and reels and hooks and sinkers and stuff, that helps him and ultimately helps me too. So, you know, you all have just done so much for me and, and Becca and Sandra Hillary and, you know, all the other people there who have donated on my live streams, you all are, you all are making this a reality for me and I can't be more thankful because it's, it's, it's so... It's so awesome to be able to come out here pretty much any day that the weather allows and do what I love to do and, and call it a job, you know. I'm just so fortunate. I can't thank him enough. I can't thank his fish enough too, man. He come along at the right time to just be doubled up here with his buddy. They were probably swimming together right here. I'm guessing they were probably working upstream too because they were, these two back rods just, boom, just got hammered. Two different baits, skipjack and white bass, both of them eating at the same time. <laughs> we got to be getting close on this thing. I hope he don't get over there with the other one. The other one's just kind of doing his thing. Last thing we need is for both these fish to end up wrapped around each other. Man, oh man, it's a strong fish, y'all. Both these fish were incredibly strong. This is a blue, I think. I feel him rolling down there, but I still ain't got a look at him yet. Oh man. I'm just hanging on, letting him do his thing. Spot lock up there is just keeping me in position. I'm getting. I saw kind of a glimpse of him down there. It's a huge fish. Yeah, that's another big blue, man. Back to back big fish. Look at this thing. This right here is the bigger of the two. 
The other one ain't no slouch though. This one right here is the bigger of the two. Whew. I'm just gonna hang on here a second. <laughs> Whew. Y'all, my arm's tired after that little series of events. Man, oh man. Again, y'all, y'all best have your rod holders secure. You gonna do this style of fishing in your kayak, them, them gear track rod holders? I don't trust them, never have. My buddy Daniel here that owns Catfish Sumo, he had one just destroy, a fish, big fish destroy one of his setups down there last week and he's got a rod swimming down there in Nickajack because of it too. <laughs> I have them things bolted in, y'all. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This thing here, he's got a ways to go before he's ready to be landed, but I'm going to set him back in the holder. And I'm going to get over here and work on the other one and try to get him out of the other front line and get that bait down there because, you know, these two fish, they could have been traveling together or you know what, there could have been a whole pack of them down there coming through at the same time so i want more options i always want more baits in the water no, no matter how many i got down there i want more but i'm gonna leave this and set and we're gonna land him in a minute i think he's hooked pretty good there so shouldn't be no problem well, let's set him back Whoo! let's bring the first one in man that's a good one buddy that's a good fish this one here is the smaller of the two but i'm telling you that's a good fish. Okay. Y'all, here's the first one. Man, that thing's mean, too. Huck never got the hook out of that thing, man. He was hooked good. Woo! <laughs> that awesome or what? We still got this other one over here with this rod in the water. Man, I love this. I can't say it enough. Y'all, that fish right there, over 39 inches. That is another solid fish right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, he's mad as all get out too. This thing's mad at me. Let's send him home. Get out of here, blue cat. Whoo. Hadn't tore up my hand there a little bit. That's all right. Worth it. <laughs> Let's land this in there. Look at the head on that thing, man. Look at that. Holy cow. Okay, let's bring that in too. Oh, as I about lose the camera. Man. These fish right here, this one's another one wasn't going nowhere. That hook was behind the tooth patch. Oh man, I gotta rest a second, y'all. It's a beast right here. Not a real fat fish, but just long and strong, man. Whoo. Okay, let's hold it up there. <laughs> Look at the head on that thing, man. That's a solid fish. I, this is another one that's, you know, you give it another month, this thing will be a daggone tank. I mean, it's... It's strong right now, but once it gets all its weight back on and gets filled out, this is going to be a force down there, man. <laughs> uh, this, this one's definitely the heavier of the two. Let's put it on the board and see about the length. Oh, yeah, guys. That one there, 43 inches right there. The other fish broke the trough piece of my board. He's barely hanging on, but 43 inches, just solid fish. When you look at the head versus the body, that's going to be a monster here in another month. All right, guys. One last look at the beef, the over 43 inches right there. Oh, he's ready to go. Let's get it out of here. Get out of here, man. Oh, man, that thing was fighting me, tearing up my hand. <laughs> man, I'm having so much fun out here today. Oh, right here, y'all. Right here, look at this. Look at this. Oh man, I got another one on. I got another one on right here. It's a good one too. I was about to film a closing segment and get out of here. It's about 11 o'clock. I was going to take it to the house. I've had another little break here with not much going on. and 
I thought it was a good time to go. Getting that point in the day now, it's getting hot. And I like to come out here and fish the morning hours while it's still reasonable temperature. Ain't got no pleasure boaters on the water, stuff like that. And have my fun, catch my fish, and get the heck out. <laughs> and so I was getting ready to film my closing segment here in a minute. It looks like we're going to get one more before we do it. It don't hurt my feelings to catch one more. I know my arm's tired, that's for dang sure. I pulled up some heavy fish today. It's been a fun morning. This hole has just been on fire the last two days. I'm probably going to have to hit it again too. I know my audience likes to see me move around, hit different places and stuff, but when you got a bite like this, you just gotta, you just gotta ride it out, you know. Ride it out till they quit biting here. I don't know what this is gonna be yet. I ain't got to look at him. I know it's fighting hard though. I'll tell you that, buddy. That thing's another one that's just a pulling down there. That's uh, probably a blue, I'm guessing. It took that rod tip over fast. Man, it's been fun today, y'all. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it because it has just been a fun morning. I love it when it's like this. This kind of bite don't happen all the time. But boy, when it does, I just sit back and enjoy the heck out of it. Look at this. That's another big blue. That's another quality blue right there. It's another fish that's real skinny from the spawn. But... That thing's got some length to it. We'll throw it on the board here once I get him landed. That one ate the skipjack head. Man. Whoo. My arm's toast, y'all. <laughs> My arm's toast. Come here, fishy. Okay, let's bring it in. Oh, 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 oh. oh. y'all, that right there is another one that's probably 38 to 40 inches. That's another solid fish, man. Yeah, y'all, that one right there, skipjack head. <laughs> man, there's some big fish in this section of the river right now. I think that back rod behind me was getting hit too. Look at that. Nice, buddy. <laughs> Just getting ready to film a closing segment. It had another little break. It's getting hot, and I thought it's a good time to get out of here, but this one said, nope. I'm going to get a bite of that skipjack before you go, Justin. Y'all, that one right there, another quality fish. He'll graze that 39-inch line as he flops down to the floor on me. <laughs> oh, Y'all, look right here. That one behind me is going down. We're going to get another. Let's let this one go. See ya, blue kitty. Let's pick. Oh, oh, oh. This one here. This front rod's going down too. I'm on some more fish, y'all. I'm going to have to stay a little while longer. This front rod's going down. I think this in my hand here is a little bigger than the other one. That back rod back there was kind of acting like small fish. Y'all, for those of you that like long videos, you better got you a snack for this one. I bet you we're probably pushing 30, 45 minute video here. I can probably edit out some of the small fish and it'll still be a long video. <laughs> These fish have made it easy on me today. Sometimes you come out, you know, it's a slow day. You can't hardly buy a bite. I had a trip the other day. I got a really good fish, really nice one. I think it's over 42 inches. But I only had two bites all morning. I mean, five hours on the water, two bites. A day like today, it's like catch a bunch of fish, get some good quality. Easy making videos when the fish are like they are today. Let's bring this one in. This one ate a white bass head that we've been soaking all morning down there because I didn't have but one. We've got our, we've got our use out of that thing. 
this one here, I'm going to just go throw him on the board for the slot turn and take a look. He will. These fish have wrecked my kayak today, man. They have wrecked it. They're all wound today. Yeah, guys, this one here will be another one that's an upgrade on my slot score. He's over almost 31 and a half. He may touch it there if I get him to lay right. All right, there's that one. You know, I'd call this a fun sizer. It's an upgrade on my slot tournament score. I'm going to let him go. We're going to see what's going on back here on this back rod. <laughs> this one here. No, I think I do got a fish on here now. I thought he'd come off. I may just be reeling in that other line or something. No, he's a fish on there. I don't know what was going on there. He must have just come up in the water column or something. He's all wrapped up in this other line over here. I got a daggone mess. That's all right. I'm gonna bring this one in just like that. He is all wrapped up in that other line. I guess he got it while I was dealing with the other one there. These fish, they cause me some messes, but I love having this many lines out in a kayak because, you know, kayak fishing's fun anyway. Suspending baits in a kayak's fun. But when you get two, three, four quality fish on at the same time in a kayak, you can't beat it. You can't buy that kind of fun. Oh, 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 oh. Easy fish. Oh, oh. Boy, this one here is going crazy. Get out of here. That's outdoor behavior right there. <laughs> Man, y'all. I ain't got a bait in the water right now. I think out in over there probably got knocked off while I was dealing with that fish. What an incredible morning, y'all, I think. I'm going to have to drop some more baits down. I was getting ready to go, but clearly we've got some more fish working through right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some more baits down. I'll probably sit here another 30 minutes to an hour. But I think I will go ahead and wrap up this video because, my gosh, it's probably 30, 45 minute video right now. Just even too with me being able to edit out some of the smaller fish. So uh, awesome morning out here, y'all. But my kayak, man, it's destroyed. There is slime all over me all over the floor. Let me take this other camera here and show you. I got poop splatter on the walls of my kayak. This thing looks like a underside of a toilet seat at the Waffle House on a Saturday night. My measuring board's wrecked here on my measuring board. These hinges, we use this uh, aluminum channel here to lock the hinges, but the board by itself still kind of flimsy. So I got another board under it and I have rigged me up here some basically like a trough so these fish don't slide off the board forward and back and that one fish that went crazy earlier he bent my metal bracket there broke this piece off so i'm gonna have to fix that today that's gonna be on the to-do list but what an awesome morning i wouldn't change the thing about it it was big blues got some nice flatheads quantity of fish this hole has just been on fire the last two days it has been incredible so for my regular audience get ready I'm going to be back out here again soon. You can bet on that. And hopefully we're going to just keep picking the fish out of here. I'm going to keep hitting it until they quit biting. But uh, anyway, guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video, even though I'm about to drop some more baits down. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.